ready exciting times we are literally going to sew a mole make a mole uh, all right and the directions are going to follow are you ready in class we're going to work on this for two days so work diligently but you will have enough time but make sure that you bag up your materials after the first day put your name on it put it where i tell you in the classroom so that you're able to access it on the second day okay if you don't keep your materials together it's going to be a little bit difficult on the second day all right all right first thing is to get supplies so you're going to get a strip of felt like this you're going to get a piece of fabric i decided on this one and then you're going to get one pattern sheet like this you also are going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, in my class, you have them at your uh, table already. And then you're going to need a pencil or a pen. Uh, I just prefer to use a pencil, but not required. Okay, what I need first is just the pattern sheet. And I'm going to cut out three things. I'm going to cut out the side body piece, this bottom belly piece, and the claw. So what I want to make sure, so I'll just show this first part. So I'm only going to want to cut around like this. Do not, see these little triangle notches? Do not cut them off. Leave them there. Okay. They are important for uh, locating where to uh, attach things, where to sew things. Okay. So let me just show you as I come around for this one up here. I do not want to cut off this notch. I want to leave it there so <clears throat> I can cut past it and then come back around and cut down okay again it is super important for being able to um, locate where to attach things where to sew things so you can't just cut them off all right so we're almost done with the side body piece so had just a couple notches on the other side. Notice I'm cutting on the dark line, not on the dotted line. Okay, so there we go. I have cut out the side body piece. Notice again, let me just focus this here. Do you see right here, the little notch? And right here, the little notch. Okay, I wanna leave those, all right? <clears throat> now I'm going to do the same thing um, with this bottom belly piece. Okay, so I'm coming up from here. Well, it doesn't really matter where you start, but again, I'm cutting around the edge. This one has several little notches. So I'm going to leave these little notches here. It is going to be my guide for attaching pieces in the right way. So trim like this, come around. Now I get to another dark notch, which again, I do not want um, to cut off. I want to leave it there. Okay, then I come around to some light notches, which I'm going to leave there. Uh, those are going to be where um, claws are going to be attached. Okay, so come around like this. I'm going to turn my paper so it's a little easier for this part of the cutting. Come around. I have some light notches here that I'm going to leave. Again, we're not removing any. Oops, that was just kind of a bad cut there. We're removing any of the notches. Okay, and I'm almost done here. I just have a couple light notches on this side. Okay, then I'm going to just trim down here and I've cut out the uh, bottom body piece. You can see I have light notches and in some areas I have both light and dark notches down here. Light notches, light notches. Okay, so that's it. And then the last thing that I need to cut out is the claw. Now, to be fair, this has five little toes, fingers, I don't know, what do you wanna call it? Um, you don't really need to cut them out. Like if you wanna just make it like three triangles, 
for the um, claws, that's uh, fine. Literally, it does not have to be like anatomically five fingers, but you can. So cut out the claw. All right. So what I accomplished, cut out the side body piece, the bottom body piece, and the claw. We don't need the nose piece because we are using pom-poms. Okay, for this step, I'm gonna need my fabric. So I'm gonna set the felt aside. I also don't need the scissors, so I'm gonna set those aside, okay? What I need simply is my side body piece and my fabric. But what I need to do is flip my fabric so it's wrong side out. So I am drawing on the wrong side. I don't wanna be drawing on the correct side. So whatever side I, um, this, flip it over, this is the side I want to show. I don't want this side to show, okay? So I'm gonna trace the pattern on the wrong side, okay? So I'm going to go around, okay? So you can see um, it is showing up here, all right? Make sure I line it back up. All right, so I'm gonna trace all the way, all the way around this side. Okay. Then I can't forget the notches. Okay, so I'm gonna trace all around this one. Leave that little notch. I kind of traced over that a couple times just to make sure that was clear where that notch was. Go up this way again. Trace over the notch. Come up this way. All right, so when I remove it, uh, you can see there is my pattern. If there's any part where you think it's not dark enough, you could trace over it. Over here, you can see it's a little clearer where I did a double trace. Okay, remember I had traced this pattern, the side body piece. Now what I want to do, also pay attention. See how close to the edge I have this here? That's important. What I want to do now is take this pattern and flip it because I want to create a mirror image of the same exact side. This is one side, this is the other side, but they need to be mirror images. So I'm going to do the same thing and trace this with the pencil. But notice again how close I got this to this one so that I do have uh, enough room, okay? So I'm gonna trace around this pattern again. Again, I can't forget the notches, so it helps if we just kind of over trace that a little bit. Okay, so I'm coming around this way. I got some on the paper there, that's totally fine. I'm gonna flip making sure to hold the pattern in place so that it doesn't move. Oops, a little bit on the paper again, totally fine. Remember we're on the wrong side of the fabric, so little mistakes here and there, even if I, as I'm tracing, is no big deal. All right, I'm coming around to my other little notch again. I do not want to forget the notch. And come around like this. All right, and voila. So you can see this little mistake I made here. That's okay. I have the right one on the outside. Okay, so there we go. We have now two mirror images. One was traced this way, right at the edge. One was traced this way, okay? Okay, now we're done with our side body piece, so I don't need this pattern anymore. I'm just gonna save it for now. What I do need is the bottom belly piece. And I just have to find a spot where I can trace it. So you see I have room here, plenty of room. I can put it this way. I could have it be right here, okay? So wherever you want to, I think I'm gonna put mine right here along the bottom, okay? But you can see I do have some give here, so I do have some extra. Now this has 
some notches that I want to make sure that I do trace. So let's start on this end and slide it a little bit. I don't want it to be right at the edge, but close to the edge. Okay, so we'll start up here. I'm holding my pattern firmly. You can see I've been doing that all along, tracing around those notches, coming around over here, notches here, trace around those notches, okay, come around this way. Uh, and then I'm going to not forget, these are light notches, but I still need to trace around them. I am going to have to trim them. There's my dark notch. Okay, come around. I have a fold in the fabric here. Um, yours should not have a fold. Um, unfortunately, I folded mine to bring it home with me. But yours should not. So you won't have to worry about that. And there we have it, okay? So there's our bottom uh, piece traced down here, okay? So you can see that. So now I have two sides and one bottom piece traced. Okay, after you finish cutting out, uh, just a reminder, you know, I said set them aside, but I'm gonna remind you not to toss these out. So you see this dotted line? That's gonna guide you on where you have to do the sewing. Um, as well as these letters and identifying the nose versus the tail, okay? And the dotted lines on here are gonna indicate where you're gonna sew. You're not actually gonna sew on the paper, but you definitely need these to help make sure that you sew it correctly. So don't toss these. Okay, I'm done with the tracing of the side body pieces and the bottom belly piece. I'm gonna set those aside. And what I need to do now is cut. So now I need scissors. And I'm going to cut out um, the side body pieces first, okay? So what I want to just do, um, I'm kind of leaning on it and pulling the fabric a little tight um, as I come around. Uh, or you can just hold it like this. What you want to be careful of is those notches. So here I am coming up to that first notch and I'm going to want to make sure that I cut out the notch. All right, I want to leave that little triangle of fabric. All right, so coming around, I have another notch over here that I want to make sure I do cut. I want to leave it there. I don't want to cut it off. All right. And come around this way. Up to the top here. Now, if your edges are not totally smooth, don't completely stress about that because we have a little bit of an edge and then we're going to be sewing. So it doesn't need to be completely, totally smooth. All right, so don't stress about that. Okay, so there's one piece, one side, but that's the side that's going to show. Okay, so there we go, that's one. So I have one side. Now I need to cut out the other side. Okay, so I wanna be careful not to mess up the bottom piece that I have down there as well. So this, uh, this is like the back, the top of the mole. That's easy because there are no notches. Okay, so that's easy to cut. All right, now I'll come around here. Again, you see I have this little bit right here. It's not quite exact. Don't stress about that stuff, okay? You want to get close, but you don't need to stress about it too much. All right. Oh, scissors are being difficult there. So come around like this. Here we are at a notch. I want to make sure I leave the notch. I want that little triangle of fabric there. And I'm coming around on the belly here. Remember I had two lines. 
So just making sure I cut on the correct one. Leave that, leave that little notch, and then come around like this. And here I have my second one. So remember how we had to flip the pattern, and here's why, because eventually these will fit together like this, two sides of the mole. If you didn't flip the pattern, you would have one side correct and one side this pattern, which you don't really want. So that is why I flipped the pattern before I traced. So there we go, we have our two sides. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the bottom piece, but here's what I wanna show you. So do you see I have double notches and single notches? So on my actual pattern, see how I drew a line right here? That's to represent this double notch, the single one little triangle I left like it was. So you can see I have another right here. This represents that double notch. This represents that double notch. This represents that double notch. I recommend doing that. That is essentially indicating the location of where the feet are going to go. So I wanna be sure to cut out that extra little piece right there, okay? So I'm going to trim this now. So that's helpful before you start trimming, before we start trimming this um, bottom to realize that this is an actual little double notch. Um, and I didn't worry about tracing it as a, and cutting it um, as a whole um, triangle, all right? I just need to make sure that that single triangle is cut like a triangle. The other ones are really there just to attach the feet to, um, indicating it as a notch just makes it a little clearer, but adding that pencil mark is really what helps me more than worrying about cutting it as a double notch. That's kind of extra cutting. If you really want it as a double notch, then you would kind of cut inside uh, right inside on that line. But again, I'm not worrying about that. I'm just tracing around. Okay, trimming this. Trimming around here is where I'm getting to. This is gonna be another foot. So that was a double notch on the actual pattern. All right, uh, there's gonna be another foot. So you can see it's just a little easier to identify. Those notches are sometimes hard to see, okay? So, finished cutting. Here is a good check. I'm gonna set my pattern down, and I'm gonna set this on top of it, okay? And I should see everything all the little notches at the right spot. And I do, so that looks good. All right, if you put it this way, that's a little harder to see, but I shouldn't see any white parts sticking out. I shouldn't have missed anything. All right, so looks good. I have the big pieces cut out. All right, even if your pieces are small like this, um, you know, not totally tiny, but if they're pieces like this, still give them uh, to your teacher. Whatever scraps you have, um, they may save them, or may give them to art class, whatever. So don't throw out the scraps. Give them to your teacher, put them in the correct location. Okay, now I'm onto the claws. So I kind of loosely cut this out. And again, I really would not focus on cutting out all of these. I think I'm just gonna do three, like in, out, in, out. I'll show you what I mean. I have a pretty big piece and I just need four claws, okay? So um, when I trace it, so I'm gonna trace the side, I'm gonna trace along the bottom, and I'm gonna trace up this side. Okay, like that, all right? And then let's just make sure I went up enough on this side. Kind of up to where the top of the foot is, and then I'm just gonna go 
and just kind of draw it myself. All right. So again, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm tracing along this side up to kind of the top, go along the bottom, trace up this way, go along to the top, and then just kind of loosely draw like that. All right, two more to go. I need four little feet like this. Again, kind of making sure I'm up to the top. Down, up. And to me, I'm not super worried that these are exact. Alright, and then down, up, down, up. Okay, so now I have four claws. Okay, now my next step is to really simply cut out the four claws. So this is a little bit easier than some of the other cutting because just kind of a bunch of straight lines. So you can see, flip it this way, it's all right. All right, so that was one. Okay. it like this, cut in, come up, down, over two, down like this, Three. All right, so I'm going to show you a technique on this one that you can use. Uh, so I'm just going to straight cut all the edges like that. I'm going to go across like this. And then just kind of trim the scissors like, like this to cut out the little triangle. So just like this and like this to cut out the triangle. So that's another technique. So there we go. I have my four claws and then I have this. Again, uh, not going to toss out no, the felt and fabric, so you're going to, again, give this to your teacher. Uh, they may save it or uh, may use it like in uh, art class, all right? So again, don't throw this out. Okay, now what we're going to do is get the bottom piece, okay, if you aren't sure which which is the bottom piece, check the pattern, right? So I'm gonna get the bottom piece and place it right side up. So the nice side of the fabric facing out, okay? So like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna place the claws. So remember where I had these double notches? So I'm gonna take the claws and put them everywhere where I had a double notch. So you can see I can check like this. That was the brilliance of putting that pencil mark right there. And I'm going to put the claws right side up. Wrong side has the pencil. So there goes one claw there, right side up, one claw here. How do I know it's here? Flip this over, get see that notch. Okay. And then I have one down here. How do I know that's the right spot? Again, there's that notch and then right here. How do I know that's the right spot? Again, there's the notch. Okay. All right, so now what I wanna do is uh, put a little bit of glue. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue uh, right here um, at the edge, okay? So right here on the fabric. Hold on. Helps if you take off the uh, the lid here. Okay. Let's try that again. You're gonna put a little. Oops. That was a little bit too much. Let's just wipe this one off. 
and try one more time. So we're going to put squeeze gently, a little bit of glue right there. Then I'm going to take this claw right side up and press it right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing at this double notch. Put a little bit of glue right side up claw. All right, same thing over here. Little bit of glue, right side up. And the last one, a little bit of glue, right side up. Okay, so I have a little bit of glue, so you can see, right, they're not falling off. A little bit of fabric glue holding them all. Okay, getting those claws ready. Okay, now I'm going to take the two side pieces. Again, if you forget which is which, you're comparing to here, but we just glued claws onto the bottom, so now I should know these are the two sides. What I want to do is match them up correctly, like this, so I have the ends and the notches lined up correctly. Now, if it is a little bit off, if it's a little bit off, that's okay, because we have um, an edge that we're sewing around. The important thing is you want these notches and you want the nose and the tail lined up correctly. Okay, so we have these packages of needles. So uh, you're gonna open it up and just choose um, a needle. It honestly doesn't really matter. Uh, just choose one needle, okay? So here we go, I have one needle. And then I have thread. Notice how on the spool right here, the thread, there's a little notch for it to go inside. So I'm going to kind of pull that to loosen the thread. And what I want to do is just stretch out my arm. That's what I'm doing right now, stretching out my other arm. Okay. And that's about the amount of thread I want. So I'll cut there. Then, when I'm done, I see how I'm going to pull that thread back into that notch. Okay, so it, it's easy for the next person to get their thread. Okay? Okay, I'm going to show you the way I thread a needle. So I take the thread, kind of pull it between my two fingers like this. Take the needle, pull up on the thread, kind of to try to make it into like a point. Then I take the needle and kind of turn it and then slide it through, okay? So if you have another technique for threading a needle, absolutely go ahead and use another way. What I want to do is find the two ends of my thread so here they are, and then I want to knot it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold this end, drag this off, just so you can see, and I'm just going to pull, and that's going to tighten. So you see the whole thread length is tight. Usually what I do, and again, this is going inside um, the mold, so it doesn't have to be beautiful, okay, is I start to knot it like this. Okay, that one didn't even knot. Sometimes if you just do this with your fingers, kind of just slide it together and tangle it up, that will work. As opposed to trying to knot and knot. So whatever technique you want to kind of just get, there we go, get a knot that's at the end of your thread. And there we go. Okay, now our next step is to finally start sewing. Okay, so I need the two, remember I put these two pieces together, uh, matching up the notches, matching up the nose and the tail, okay, so that it looks good. Again, it doesn't matter if it 100% doesn't match, I just want the key things, like those notches have to be right, okay? 
if I look at this, this side is the nose. So I'm going to start here right where this dot is. And you see about that far in, I'm going to sew all the way over to the tail. Okay. So here's the nose. Okay. So I had my knotted thread. So I'm going to go in right about here. Okay. And pull my thread and it should stop there. Okay. And then I'm not going to want to move the um, patterns around because I have them held to get because they're lined up correctly. So every so often, stop, smooth it, make sure they're lined up correctly. All right. So this is a really simple pattern. Okay. Um, just kind of sewing it like this about that far in from the edge okay making sure you just kind of pull it and make sure that your stitches are kind of straight now some people prefer to do a stitch like this come like this got tangled here there we go and go across the top like that. Sometimes it's a little easier. Again, making sure that you keep those stitches pulled tight, but again, I don't want to pull too tight. So whatever is your stitch of preference, go ahead, sew it that way. All right. And you're going to sew all the way from the nose to the tail. Okay, you see I'm just being careful. If, I, if that thread gets twisted, straighten it out. The pattern starts pulling, straighten that out. Okay, so again, you can use this method. So go in this side, through the back, and then come back forward. All right, like this, all the way down. We're going from nose to tail. All right, so you can see I'm kind of sewing slowly. I am not an expert sewer by any means. So what I'm making sure, so I'm going to pause right here, okay, and make sure, look, everything looks lined up still. So looks good. This is not going to show. This is going to be on the inside. The only thing that's important is making sure I'm going all the way across. I'm leaving a little bit of an edge and I'm not making my stitches too far apart. Okay. There's no super exactness uh, that is necessary. If your stitches are too far apart, when we put the stuffing in, um, some of it may come through the spaces in the stitches. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay. So just kind of sewing all the way down. All right. We started to get a little tangled. There we go. I managed to get it pulled through, straighten it back out, straighten out my thread. Okay. And continue on. Oops. Let go of the needle by mistake. All right. Keep sewing all the way across. I want to get to the tail. All right. So just keep sewing down. This is like kind of along the spine of the mole. All right, sewing these two edges together. These are both the side body pieces that we are sewing together. The good side of the fabric is inside. The side we want to hide is what I'm looking at right now. Okay, and I'm almost there. Going to continue till I get just to kind of that point of the tail. Oops. On that stitch, I missed the back. There we go. Don't want to do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sewing the two pieces together. 
All right, so I'm really close to the edge, almost finished. Remember, check, good, I'm still lined up. I don't wanna mess it up. My, I need my notches to stay in the right spot. A little tug there, that's okay. All right, just a couple more stitches here. One. Okay, now I'm at the end and I'm gonna need to knot it. So kind of just make a little loop like that, just like you were sewing another stitch. Go through both of the pieces, pull it. You just made a knot. Cut this. Uh, actually, leave this because I'm gonna need it again, so don't cut it yet. So leave that. Uh, but we sewed these two pieces together and we're ready for the next part. Okay, the next part is you're going to make a tail, which is optional, so you can skip this part. So you choose a color yarn. I chose orange. Now you can just use one string, um, or what I'm going to do is just kind of loop it like this a little bit and use, I think, Okay, I'm gonna just judge it. Okay, that's about a good size, all right? So I'm just gonna do four little uh, pieces. So you don't have to, you could do one, you could do no tail. But I, oops, need to cut this one. All right, so I just have four little pieces, all the same size. Um, but again, you could have yours different sizes. I'm gonna just grab all the ends together. So remember how we were sewing nose to tail and I said to leave the um, needle and thread here? It's because that's where I would need to attach the tail, okay? Obviously at the tail end, okay? So I'm going to um, sew it, but I wanna tuck the tail inside because I don't want it to be here. It would be literally uh, inside once I, um, stuff this mold, but I do need to sew it right here. So I need to grab my needle and thread and I'm gonna attach this yarn right here, okay? So kind of like I'm making a knot. All right, and I'm gonna, oops, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna pull like this. So just kind of tuck it into the fabric a little bit. You could glue the edges, but um, a little bit more successful with sewing the edges, a little bit less likely to kind of come off. All right, those two pieces weren't quite in there. So just make sure I grab them now. Okay, so when I come around like this, don't want those pulled in. There we go. Just watching kind of the direction of my thread. So if I give it a tug on this, they should stay. What will help is once I have this, okay, to just take my, um, my fabric glue and just add it Oops, that was an awful lot. Uh, it did not want to come out and then all of a sudden it came out with a, in a flurry. So, okay, I'm gonna use a scrap of felt. Okay. And all I wanna do just at the very end here, just kinda make sure I have some glue. That'll help keep it attached. So I'm thinking aside this little scrap here, handy, okay. Now, I can trim this thread. If you don't really want a tail, then you could have trimmed it on the last step, but that's it. And what we wanna do is make sure that we take this tail and it is going to get tucked inside, okay? 
I want it sewn on the part uh, right here that won't be seen, but I want the actual tail to be seen, so I need to kind of tuck it like that. All right, there we go. Okay, now I needed to get this bottom piece, okay? And what I need to match up is the A and the B notches, okay? So here's this, and then you see how, if I imagine this together, um, I would want it to be this way, because I want the bottom to be like this. So let's see, so when I put this bottom like this, I take my mole, and what is going to happen is this notch is going to line up with this notch, like this, okay? Now, you can see the rest lines up all the way around, okay? I have these two other notches here. Okay, so it lines up like this all the way around, right? But look here. Let me slide this over. So do you see how I sew from A? See this dotted line? So I'm going to sew like this, and I'm going to leave the space between A and B open, okay? So now you can see I have one on this side, and I have one on, not on this side. Do you see, I don't, I don't have the um, corresponding notches. So that tells me that it's this side. So I'm going to sew all the way around and leave this little bit between these notches that match up. Leave this bit right here open, okay? everything else is going to get sewn. I'm just going to need to do it slowly because I need to make sure that the pattern stays lined up. So again, I'm going to sew from this notch, right, from here on this side of the triangle, around like this, around here. This will be tugged over around here. Keep the foot in around here all the way around here keep the tail tucked in around here back till i'm all the way over here at this side okay so again i'm going to make sure these notches let's just get this tail tucked inside a little better okay so i need this notch come on this notch and this notch to line up. Okay, so there we go. Those ones to line up because that's where I'm going to start. Whew, that took a little longer than necessary to get them lined up. And here's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to start right here at the triangle, okay? So right here at the triangle. That's just to keep me in the right spot, okay? So I'm gonna keep sewing an edge like this. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that I get the edge of the fabric. So because see, this has had the notch, okay? So I'm gonna make need to make sure when I, oops, sorry. I need to make sure on this side that I actually grab the fabric, okay, like that. Okay, because remember that that extra piece was from the notch, but only one side had the notch. 
So those are the parts where I have to be extra careful. Because if I don't sew the actual fabric, it's not going to hold together. All right, so now as I'm approaching the end here, I'm going to try and keep these edges lined up as close as I can. All right, so that looks pretty good as I'm coming around right here. If I can do this, literally anybody can because I am not a sewing person. So. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to get to this crease right here. And now I need to be careful here. See how nicely that lines up? So I'm going to just hold it as I'm moving forward because I want that to stay nicely lined up. So coming right here. Oops, that one didn't catch the other side, so I have to just be careful. I need to catch both sides of the fabric. Otherwise, is, oop, look, I grabbed that foot pattern. All right, so keep going like this all the way around. Every time you get to like a little bit, Make sure that you have the um, patterns lined up, okay? So I'm going to continue like this. Um, and I'm going to pause it and then kind of do the next bit without sound and speed it up. But I want to get all the way to the nose first so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Constantly trying to make sure that these stay lined up. Okay, just becomes really important. All right, so, so close. I'm almost there at the nose. Oops, okay, here we go. Almost there. Get those lined up. Just a couple stitches right here. And we are going to be putting a pom pom at the nose so you don't have to stress too much about it. But there we go. We have the nose. And now here is where we're going to flip around and come the other way. So here is where I need to make sure that the pattern lines up again. And you see it does. So now I'm going to continue sewing but along this side. So now I switched the pieces that I'm actually attaching together. Okay. Now I'm going to be sewing down this side. All right. So where I'm going to continue, so I'm going to pause it and then kind of do no sound and speed it up, is I'm going to continue sewing like this way around this whole side here and all the way until I get back over here. So that's just the beginning um, and that's to get you started, but you'll see the rest kind of in fast motion and no sound.
All right, are you ready? Here comes the exciting part. So I should have from this notch to this notch, A to B, it should be open. Everywhere else, it should be sewed. Remember, I did this first, and then I went like this, and around like this, and around here, and around here. I should have four feet that are tucked in the tail tucked in that was optional so now what I'm going to do is flip this so kind of use your fingers and go inside and turn this mole right side out okay when I do make sure you get the the feet those legs are going to kind of be tucked a little bit. All right, so here is what we have right now for our mole. All right flipped inside out. So here you can see my stitches were a little further apart. So there's kind of some space here. Um, the rest of it looks pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do, this is right here. Okay, I'm going to go um, flip this back over and just kind of adjust. It's really just this beginning. So from the nose um, to kind of right past where the feet were, I'm gonna fix that. But if yours looks okay or you don't care, um, you would be done with this step, okay? So I'm just gonna adjust mine before moving on to the next step. Okay, again, here is my mole with that opening. You can see after that touch up, how much better that seam is so I'm glad that I redid that okay now what I'm gonna do so there is a whole box okay of stuffing okay of filling so you are going to stuff the mold so you're gonna grab bits of it and start putting it inside Okay, and you got to get through just this one only opening so you can't take too much at once. Okay, so I'll grab some more, take a little bit at a time, put it through the opening. I kind of want to distribute it evenly. Okay, put in enough. You want your, your mole nice and nice and fluffed up. So I'm going to push some through so it gets into the nose. Okay. These front feet especially, I'm going to put a little bit stuff so they get into the actual leg, I guess. All right. If you want your mole less stuffed, well, stuff it less. Okay. And I think I need some more. Make it nice and full. Okay, there's plenty of stuffing, so adjust how much you want to put in until your mole is stuffed appropriately. So you can see my seam is totally not perfect, but you know what? I made it, but I like really the front is really good. Okay, make sure I have some in this leg up here. So I think I'm going to use this other bit here. Just kind of squish it in. All right. Because I want to make sure it's going to kind of stand up. Once I close this, okay, it'll kind of be like that. So I think that's good. All right. So there we go. Our stuffed mole. I'm going to tuck this stuffing inside. I don't want it spilling out. That's not going to be good. Okay. All right, we are so close to done. Here is our mole. All right, but I have this opening. Obviously, that's incomplete. 
So what I need to do is sew it closed here, okay? Um, the way that I would do it, so see this edge has the flap. So I'm gonna take my needle and thread and poke it kind of, I fold it over that triangle. So I'm gonna kind of poke it through right behind that first of all, okay? Pull it through, all right? And then I have the triangle on the other side. I'm gonna kind of go behind there. I want to snag the foot. Okay, so I'm going to kind of want the edges folded over. So right here, it's kind of easy because I have those triangles, right? So I can hook into the triangles, which is already folded. Okay, so here's where I'm just snagging it onto that triangle. So that's a good spot to get kind of started. All right, so now I have this, this edge is kind of frayed. So I wanna sort of fold it a little bit, okay? Then grab the fold, okay? And then on this side, fold it just a little bit, grab the fold, pull it over. So fold it just a little bit, grab the fold, if you don't want to be as neat, that's okay too, but this way will allow you to not have any frayed edges by having just that little bit of a fold as you grab it and sew it closed, okay? Slow process. Oops. Try to get stuck around. There we go. Try to get stuck around that foot. Okay, so I have just a little fold. I'm grabbing it. Just a little fold. Oops. Tried to grab scissors. I think I have too many things around me. Okay. And pull it. Little fold. Go through the fold. Little fold. Go through the fold little bit of a fold, go through the fold. A little bit of a fold, go through the fold. A little bit of a fold, go through the fold. Okay, I'm just going to continue. Because I have quite a bit of stuffing, as I close it, it doesn't really stay closed yet, so I just have to keep following along. Make a little fold, put the needle through it. Make a little fold, put the needle through it. A little bit of a fold. A little bit of a fold. We're moving along slowly but surely. Okay, making up that little bit of a fold. I'm almost able to hold it closed um, and continue and continue to sew close. So little fold. Go through the fold. That just allows you to grab a little bit more of the fabric as well, as opposed to just grabbing one edge of the fabric. Now we're a little faster because I'm able to sort of hold this closed as I'm sewing right now. You can see I'm getting there. Okay, so now the fold kind of is a little bit more natural and just kind of stays. So I want to grab the fold and I just want to do one side at a time. Now some people just grab the edges and kind of sew through it. I just like to make the edges a little bit neater which is why I'm doing it this way. Okay, But if you want to close yours differently and not worry about it 
being as neat. That's okay. It's your mole, right? It does not have to be perfect. It's yours. Mine is clearly already not perfect. You can tell I'm not, not an expert sewer by any means. All right. So let's just, uh, so let's just keep sewing along here. Getting there really close. Okay, so now I kind of don't need to, to hold it anymore at this point. What I want to do is just make sure I continue oops, sewing along that seam. I don't want to leave the seam open. So I need to get all the way to where that foot is. Okay, if I don't get all the way there, I'm going to have part of the seam open. Okay, and then, you know, my stuffing could leak out. So what I'm just kind of going to do at the end here is just do another kind of extra little loop here. And then on the last one, I'm going to pull it through like this so that I make a knot. And I can cut my string, my thread. Okay, so here we are. Just kind of give them a little bit of a squish adjustment. Make sure it's got some some filling in those front paws, and there we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, look how cute my mole is so far. Look at the little tail. Okay, remember the tail is optional. Okay, so now we need a pom-pom. So we need to make a nose. So here are some choices. So you just kind of have to see. There are a variety of sizes and you just have to see what you think uh, works best, what you like best. Um, I think I actually prefer the small one myself. Or maybe, maybe this kind of medium sized one. Okay, let's go with the medium sized one. So I'm going to need to attach it. So you can just glue it, but what I'm going to do is take my needle and thread and kind of get inside of um, the pom-pom, uh, but I forgot to knot my thread. So let me do that first. Okay, so I'm going to, oops, take this, and you could kind of feel where it's a little more firm on the inside. I'm going to take my thread and get this, okay, oops, get it stuck on the inside. Okay, then I'm going to grab the front of this mole's nose right at the tip, right where I want the pom-pom to be, okay. And then I'm going to pull it up there. All right, but then I'm going to repeat the process. Actually, accidentally pulled it off. There we go. Okay. So now I have this. All right. And I'm going to hook a little, hook a little bit right here on the nose. And when I do that, see how it kind of gets on a little bit. And now. What I'm going to do, hold on, I can just adjust this a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is get this thread back inside of the pom pom and then go back to the tip of the nose and pull it. Okay, then go back inside of the pom pom, hook it a little bit, tip of the nose, and pull. Okay, it's feeling really snug, but let's try it again. Go inside, go a little bit into the tip of the nose, and pull. Okay, that feels pretty snug. So we can do one more and then we'll knot it. So go to the inside, go through like this. Okay, 
Now we make a knot. So make one little. The whole time I managed to not poke myself, and then I just did. And then pull. Now I'm knotted. Then I can trim this. Now, if you don't want to go through the hassle of sewing it on, you could absolutely uh, just glue it on. I just like the security of sewing it on. And so there you go. There's our little pom-pom nose. All right, our next step is eyes. So I have an assortment of sizes of googly eyes. So you pick which one. Okay, I think that's a little big for me personally. All right, and then we could test the smaller one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. I think so. Okay, so once you have your size chosen, okay, so I don't need these ones. I'm going to use these two. All right, I'm going to take my uh, fabric glue. Okay, take your googly eye, put a little bit. So remember all my mistakes earlier. We're going to want to squeeze slow. There we go. Squeeze slowly because when it does start coming out, it'll come out kind of fast. All right, so have some glue on the eye and then decide where exactly you want to put it. So there is eye one. Okay, then I need to put some glue. Again, remember, don't squeeze too much too fast. Right, now I have this, and I'm going to put the eye on this side. Try and get it relatively, at least for me anyway, try and get it relatively opposite sides. And there we go. There's the eyes. Okay. Okay, so now it's just time to return all the materials. So you're going to return the fabric glue if you had it, the thread, the needle, um, your patterns you're going to recycle, okay, um, and you are going to return anything else that you had. Remember, any of the fabric, you weren't going to toss that. Um, you're going to hand that to your teacher. Googly eyes, if you grabbed another set to compare sizes, you're going to return those. Pom-poms, if you had a couple to compare sizes or colors, return those. Uh, that's it. This step, just return uh, all of the supplies. And voila, you did it. Your own personal little mole mascot. Nose, eyes, little feet, tail optional, but uh, oops, loose string on there. But there we go. There's your mole. And there you have it. Voila! You literally sewed a mole. How exciting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.